Hey Longhorns, are you ready for this holiday season? The peer counseling students are holding a booth from December 12th through the 14th during lunch for holiday grants. Wait, did I mention? They're free! Make sure to get one and write a sweet message to a friend to spread kindness and appreciation. Hope to see you there Longhorns. Take care and happy holidays. Hey, good morning Longhorns. I'm Lillian Camacho. And I'm Brent Duffin. We just have a few announcements to share with everyone. But first, remember at RBB TV, we don't break the news. We, we put, put it together. together. Hey Longhorns, is anyone looking to switch classes for second semester? The procedure for students to request a schedule change for the second semester is the same as the beginning of school year. For students requesting a change, the students will be directed to the teacher of record to obtain the paper form. The teacher will sign the form, the student will see the student's counselor, and changes will be made if possible. Students can request changes starting Monday, December 5th through Friday, December 16th. Are you thinking about going to Palomar after high school? Learn the steps you need to get you successfully to the first day of college. Sign up for the Palomar 101 workshop, which will be held on December 12th. See Ms. Wendy in the Gear Up office room 237 or Ms. Oxley in the College and Career Center. Our Winter Spirit Days are coming up next week, starting Monday, December 12th. Wear your favorite Santa hat. Tuesday is snow day, dress like you're going to the snow. Wednesday is holiday class color war. Seniors wear white, juniors wear blue, sophomores wear red, and freshmen wear green. Thursday is ugly sweater day. Show off your ugliest sweater. And Friday, holiday pajama day. That's all the news we have for you today, Longhorns. But before we go, Leland Camacho sat down with some of the cast from our drama club's new play, The Jungle Book. What's going on, Longhorns? Today I'm here with four cast members from our upcoming drama show, The Jungle Book. So what's your guys' name and what roles do you guys play? My name is Lucas Velasco, and I play Mowgli. My name is Thomas, and I play Blue the Bear. My name is Jonna, and I play Bagheera the Panther. My name is Cameron, and I play King Louie the Monkey. Gotcha, that's awesome. So what's your guys' favorite musical number in the show, and why? My favorite musical number would have to be Cod the Snake. Oh wait, no. I mean, Trust in Me, which has Cod the Snake in it. It's basically where um, it introduces Cod the Snake, yeah. Uh, I would have said Bare Necessities, it's my own song, but I actually really like King Louis' song, Want to Be Like You, because it's like the whole cast dancing together. It's pretty fun. I really like the battle because I, I like the choreography, it's like when they're, I don't know, taking Shere Khan around, it's fun. <laughs> You'll see. Um, I like the Bare Necessities just because it's an introduction of Blue the Bear and it's just a fun, cute song. That sounds fun. Tell me about your guys' character. Is he like a villain, a hero? So, yeah, there is a villain. His name is Shere Khan, and he's trying to eat or hurt, however you depict it, my character, Mowgli. So Mowgli is a child, an adventurous child that grew up in the jungle. And he's like the jungle's pride and joy and the jungle is trying to send him away to the man village because he's not safe in the jungle anymore. Well, my character is just trying to be like friends with Mowgli the entire time, while Bagheera is just trying to get him out of the jungle to keep him safe. So there's a little bit of conflict between there. <laughs> um, my character, Bagheera, really loves Mowgli, and so uh, he really wants to help Mowgli get out of the jungle, but he's kind of fighting back like the whole entire way. But um, yeah, that's like my whole purpose is like, you gotta go. <laughs> um, my character basically kidnaps Mowgli because my song is called I Wanna Be Like You. And it's basically King Louis doesn't wanna be an ape. He wants to be more human-like. So he basically just takes him and like tries to act more human. So we heard that the elementary schoolers came and watched you. Like, were you guys nervous, excited? How are you guys feeling? Oh. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it was a new experience because since of COVID, we haven't been able to do that. Usually it was just public, sco public shows, but they're all kids shows, so the people watching it were like, okay. I was really excited to give the little kids autographs because last year we weren't able to do that. Because I was one of those elementary kids that would come and watch all these shows and my favorite one was Little Mermaid and that's the reason why I wanted to do theater and it was just nice to perform for those little kids. Just an experience. Yeah. I was very excited because during COVID we weren't allowed to like have the kids from the schools come during the day 
And so I haven't gotten to like do like a normal children's show how they were done before and I'm, I was really excited to get to do that this time. All right, guys, thank you so much for reading with us today. The show sounds great, and we'll be sure to catch it today and tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. and December 10th at 2, 4, and 6.30 p.m. as well. Tickets are $8 for kids and $10 for adults at the door. Uh, buy Longhorns, hook them.